Hi there, this is Jennifer with the Brome Fields, and today is day 31 of our 100 Days of Knit Stitches. And today's stitch is called the Waffle Stitch. This is the front. It is super, super squishy. And this is the back. So it looks like all pearl stitches. This one I had um, a little bit of a hard time understanding and finding examples of it um, because it's called a whole bunch of different things. So it's a waffle stitch, a honeycomb stitch. It might even, I think it's called brioche, which I hadn't, I had seen before and I tried and I didn't understand it, but I kept pushing through this time so I could get it. Uh, and I'm really glad that I did because this is really pretty. I love this. All right, so we're gonna get started. So I cast on, um, you cast on in multiples of two, and the first few rows, they just have you knit in a garter stitch. However, I might recommend like a seed stitch. This one pulls just a little bit because this is really fluffy. A seed stitch might uh, work nicer for an edge for this pattern or this stitch. And then it's a four row repeat. And it was definitely a new uh, stitch to learn. So, and, but it is very easy to memorize. So this here, you kind of see it has two loops right there. That means you're just gonna knit that stitch. And then the next stitch, we're gonna knit into the bottom, going into that hole underneath that next stitch. And I'm gonna knit it. And then I'm gonna just drop that stitch off and then knit. And I'm gonna follow in that pattern all the way across. So knit in the hole below and drop this stitch off. And it's easy to remember whenever you know that that double stitch is your knit stitch. So you have the pattern. And the last one is sometimes a little tricky because I accidentally, I could lose, I'd be careful not to lose that stitch. All right, so the second row in the pattern is you wanna pick up this stitch and then you're going to grab this stitch as if to knit, move both to your right needle and then put your left needle back in and create a knit stitch and we're gonna knit one. And we're gonna follow that all the way across. So we're gonna grab this dropped stitch, pick that stitch off, and knit. Knit one. So we're gonna find this stitch in here. Is that it? No. This one is it. Because it'll wrap back behind it. And yeah, you do have to be careful. And then knit the next one. Just make sure you're grabbing the right stitches. Because this one I have found, it is pretty easy to make a mistake, but, uh, and not very easy to correct. And then we're just gonna knit this one. I want to skip a step, but you have to kind of twist them around. All right, now the third row in the pattern is like the first row we did, except we're going to alternate. So we find our double stitch, which is that one, the second one. So that means we're going to knit it. So we're going to knit through the bottom loop. And we're gonna drop that off and knit. 
through the bottom loop, drop and knit through the bottom loop, drop and knit, rinse and repeat. through the bottom loop. And then the last row in the pattern, we're gonna pick up those dropped stitches. All right, so we're going to knit the first one and then we're going to grab this stitch here that loops back behind, take two off and knit, then knit one. Grab the second loop and slip both off and then knit. So yeah, try to skip that step. Pick up the dropped stitch. Oops. Pick up the dropped stitch. Nope, not one. <laughs> there is no dropped stitch there. Pick up, slip off, and knit. Knit one. Slip it, slip, knit, oops, I don't want to split the stitch though. All right, now you just want to keep repeating those four rows over and over and over again. This would make an incredible blanket, seriously. I don't know if you guys can see all that squish. This is absolutely awesome. I love this stitch. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.